Well, here I go again. I've rearranged the furniture. I'm trying to make a feature wall over here and it requires me to get rid of some of the furniture because it, it's just too crowded. But at some point I wanted to get a cozy uh, sectional that's kind of L-shaped like this. This one's clearly too big set up like this, but that's what I would like to do in the future. So I was just kind of laying it out to see how it looked, moved my chairs out of the way. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll call this a before. And uh, that's the feature wall that I intend to start messing with. Oof, what will I come up with? So first things first, I took everything away from the wall, moved the unit out, I actually just unloaded everything into these tubs because all of that will have to go back in whatever I decide. And I've stuck the unit over here for now. But I don't know if I'll sell that or use it somewhere else in the house. We'll see. We've had it a long time. It's very, it's very used, but it's very useful. So that's the wall. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to do some float, float some cabinets across here. So they'll be mounted to the wall and I can do some lighting underneath. I'm going to also do cabinets all the way to the ceiling on this side. That will match. And then I'm going to do some kind of wood treatment right across the top with a shelf that goes all the way across the top. I know it's not for everyone. People think it's just cheap and student furniture. And absolutely, I, I, have, I agree that there is definitely some crap. But I get inspired. I get ideas on layout, on how to like uh, make things work. And if you have a smaller space and you want things hidden, but still sleek, like you can still get really good stuff at Ikea. If you want to do a closet, if you want to do a wall feature, it really, it gives you so many ideas. So it's not necessary that you have to buy anything there. You just, I walk around and I get inspired. And I think that's how the creative brain works really, isn't it? You get inspired and then you come up with something, or at least that's how my brain works. I've discovered that it isn't the same for everybody, but I really can just visualize and see what I'm building. And, and I look and see, oh, that would work. That would work as long as you got a tape measure with you. And uh, just know that the numbers can't be fudged. Even that quarter eighth of an inch, you cannot fudge it. If you don't have the space, it will not fit. So uh, I had fun shopping at Ikea. I always hear people complain about building Ikea furniture, but I actually find it um, quite simple, maybe because I'm more visual. But if you can see, there's very few pieces. If you lay them out so you know which is which, then you, you'll use the correct piece. And then the real complicated bit is how much hardware there is usually and very different shapes. So what I do is I empty the bag out and I divide everything up and lay it out in the same order as it is on here. And oftentimes there's pieces in there you don't need. Uh, these instructions will give you versions of it. So I could build this particular unit and I can wall mount it like I'm going to do today. Or I could actually stack it too high and put it on legs. Um, but I'm not going to be doing it on the ground. So I know I don't need the legs, so I'll get rid of those. These you only need if you're joining two together. Uh, I think it might be up down. I'll hold on to them, but I'm definitely joining them side to side. So I'll use those and everything else I'll use just for this cabinet. So I'm going to make three exactly the same. And I'm going to make one small one. Then we're going to mount them on the wall. Watching Rossi? We're watching Mom. Oh, you're a good boy. Look at you on your throne. Well, I think I must have jinxed myself when I said IKEA ca cabinets were easy. 
So as you can see, I put them together pretty straightforward. It was a breeze, but trying to get them on the wall, woo wee, that tested me. I did one last night and I spent so long on the second one that I ended up just leaving it and I went to bed, had a good night's sleep and I got up. Oh my gosh, it gave me trouble. When I finally got it on, I went for the last one. I think I swore more times this morning than I have in the whole year. And ugh, I knew there was no out. I had to finish. I had to finish it. I did finish it, but it took everything I had in me. So I finished it, put it on the wall, cleaned up, uh, filled it up with my stuff to see where I'm at. And now I have to get started building one more thing. Hopefully, this will be straightforward and basic because I'm not trying to line it up level. But this is where I am so far. So there it is. They're, they're floating. They go all the way down. I've got one more to go on the left hand side, but currently with the couch where it is, it's going to be too crowded if I put that there in that little gap. So I think I'm going to hold on to that till, uh, well, who knows when, because I don't know when we'll be getting a new couch, but I can also live without the unit since the whole thing is going to be kind of it's asymmetric. On the very right hand side at the side of the uh, mirror, uh, the window right here, this is where my next project's going. So it's all going to be kind of right hand heavy. So I think it's okay that, the, the, that this little gap is here for now. Because like I, I do have the cabinet to match and I'll hold on to it, you know, because you know how Ikea likes to change stuff. And look, now my dog's going to be adorable. Look, how cute. Oh, you're so cute, Woody. Look at you. I especially like how his tail just like brushes the ground as he wags upside down. Are you being cute, Rossi? Are you being cute? Oh, we're freezing. We're freezing in place. All right, dude, you're so funny. Oh, and then he plobs over. Love him. shelves in just yet because this is really you know a display as well as storage so I'm going to put it in place and then decide where I want the shelves later on um, I may just put doors on this as well just so I can hide stuff but I'm going to check the measurements because once it's standing up I'm like oh that's big is it going to fit oh my gosh as wonky as my walls have been I don't expect anything anymore yeah, it's it. But I'm going to need to enlist a little muscle just to lift it up there. Do I need to? Probably don't need to. I'm here in my garage. We brainstormed. I grabbed my husband because he's really good at problem solving. And the amount of weight that's going to be on the wall in there, really, like, it's going to be front heavy, if you get what I mean. Like, all the brackets are in the back. So... We actually took off all the cabinets last night, reinforced behind them into studs, extra screws, lots of, um, you know, those anchor things. And then we put the cabinets back up. What a beast. It almost took as long the second time as it did the first time to get them level, but I think we're there. <sighs> all right, so now is the solution. I had some leftover wood from a project I did outside and it's a four by four. A piece of solid wood and so I'm actually going to chop that and give it a leg that will go under on one end and that's going to support the weight of the shelf that goes on top of it so I hope it works out but here we go getting busy with some power tools whoop, whoop. Like that. It's my only safety goggles. Just found a pair of sunnies indoors, but I always worry about sawdust. But look, how easy was that? One easy cut. I did make it a tiny bit too big because I want it to be really snug. So I may have to shave a little bit off, but I did that on purpose because it's better to start off too big than too small. And I do want it really snug. So yeah, love me some power tools there. Quick and easy. It's just like using a paper cutter, but really, um, you know, a bit noisier, that's all. So. These uh, power tools aren't just for boys. Well, darn it. So see that, that slides it in way too easily. 
it does touch but it just slid way too easily so now i've got to cut another piece that's maybe an eighth of an inch bigger that way but yeah I think I might leave it that way I'm gonna leave it like that for now I'm not gonna secure it and then I'm gonna decide if I like it like that or not there's my little leg yeah it's not sexy is it I don't love it hmm I'm gonna have to have a little think on this LEDs have really come a long way. I ordered this, I think it was like $6 or something, and there's two rolls of it, so a lot of distance. But what it has is this uh, little kind of, um, that's what the remote points to, to get the lights on. And then you have to plug the power supply into this also. And then you've got two ports to go in two different directions off of this. Um, the issue I'm gonna have here is, I need to be able to see this in order to hear with the remote. So I wanna make sure that's visible but I also don't necessarily want to see everything else. And because these are going to be underneath, I'm going to have to drill a ho hole through the bottom of the cabinet so I can just poke this up through and then hide this underneath. Hopefully that's how that's going to work. So um, say always, always there's a kink in it, but let's see if we can get it the first time this time. what I needed. I tried to do it with my small drill but it doesn't have enough weight and power to, to do it so I went in with the heavier heavier duty drill and I picked out I started with a small one but I'm doing a big enough bit that I should be able to just poke that right through. so excited. Let me show you these amazing things. I'll just plug this in here. It literally sticks on the wall like sticky tape. I'm going to do a couple rows of it so it's a really good light because underneath in the dark. You know. Look at my jumper. I pretty much cleaned the floor um, while I was down there with my jumper. But I just got total flashback memories of when I was a teenager and I went caving. If you've never done that, it's terrifying. But I remember having to crawl, like army crawl, through a tunnel that actually had water in it on the bottom and you had to go under and it's pitch black. Yeah, it's terrifying. Um, I never want to do it ever again. But here we go, ready, steady. Woohoo! I can change the colours. I can put it on rotate whatever but i'm probably just going to keep it pretty soft or else just white it's very bluey white so maybe we'll go red well after putting the white doors on i decided i actually didn't love it because the white sort of vanishes against the white wall and I don't have it in me to do the wood panelling yet, so I decided to go with a wooden door, and I'm going to put that on instead. 
I'm not going to fill up all the doors because I want a couple of openings that I can have little display items maybe with a lamp. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But these are so easy, they come without the hardware. I have to buy that separate. And it, it literally just snaps in to the hole. You drill it down in. Just a few, a few runs like that. And now it's going to be ready to go into the cupboard. And then you basically put it where you want it. For me, that's right here. And you just do the same again. Well, I'm about tuckered out for the night, so I'm going to leave it. I did also pick up some lights. This one will go on the top of that cabinet and then it will shine light into the cabinet. And then I got like one of these little puck lights to go on another level and shine light down. But these I'm gonna drill actually up through the top and they'll all connect to each other. And they have these cool little peel and sticks that will cover up the wire so you won't see it. It will vanish against the back that's dark. And uh, hopefully the wire will come all the way down the edge and plug in and it should give us some light on this side. I did change my plans again but I'm going to do a large dark shelf with some industrial brackets on it for now just to put some pictures up top and then that will be it for this project for the time being until I can get it back in me to do all the wood and everything else but it's it's the holidays I don't really have time I hate leaving things undone so I thought once this is done it will look good even with the white wall still and I will put something Christmassy on the shelf and it will be a great, it's like a really long mantle that I've never had. So I'm kind of excited to dress it up a little bit for the holidays. So there we go. I'll show you some more snips as I finish with the lights and then I'll just drop in some pictures of the finished for now article. And um, it's been a good one. It's been easy. I have one more thing on my radar and I'll show you in, in a day or two when I finish. Well, this is it for now, the final article. I did put a shelf up. I put some brackets on like, ooh, what do you call those? Like plumbing fixtures. Basically like that, just to give it a little bit of oomph. And then I've decorated with Christmas stuff. But I like the way the brown doors ended up. I like having the openings so we can display. I did switch my lights to red. Of course, I got a little Christmassy and carried away. But you can see how this wall looks finished, but at the same time, I can add anything to it I want. And I will in the future, but for now, I'm signing off on this one. I'm gonna focus on the holidays. Right.